Ashley here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add a background image to your UI table view. Now, the, all, the, all these graphics in these tutorials are made by Jan Martin. Go check out his YouTube channel there. He teaches you how to make all of these graphics if you want to use them. And also, they'll be on my website um, when I get them up there. Um, so yeah, like I said, in this tutorial we'll be learning how to add a background image to our UI table view. First thing you'll need to know is the sizes for these images. So the first one is going to be our normal, well, let's start with the retina one, seeing as you're going to make that first because that's the higher resolution image. So the first one is going to be called background at 2x. It doesn't matter what you call it, unlike the icon and default PNGs, it doesn't matter what you call this one because we're going to be declaring this in Xcode via code. So I've called mine background and obviously at 2x for the retina size. In this this image, as it's going to be in the uh, background view of the UI table view and it's going to be underneath the UI navigation bar, we're not going to have it 320 by 480. We're going to have it 320 by 416 because we have to take off the status bar, which is 20 pixels, and we also have to take off the navigation bar, which is 44 pixels. So that's why this is going to be 320 pixels by 416, unlike normal. However, because it's the retina image, it's going to be 640 by 832. So retina image, 640 by 832. Non-retina image, normal one, just called background PNG, we're going to have this one at 320 by 416. I realise in my last tutorial I made a slight mistake about uh, saying that uh, the size of the retina screen is 640 by 940. It's actually 640 by 960, not 940. 940 is with the status bar taken off. So sorry for that, it should be 640 by 960. So yeah, that's also been notified in my last tutorial as well, so you should hopefully have seen that. Um, anyway, on with the tutorial. First, we're going to drag these images in. So drag and drop. I'm just going to put them in supporting files. You can copy them. That's always good to do. And now we just need to add this code to our table views. So the first one is going to be in our root controller.m because that's our first table view. So in here, under the view did load, we're going to type in the method to actually get our table view color. So we're going to go self. Then we're going to ask it to get the table view. Then we're going to ask it to get the background color of that table view. So background color. Then we're going to set it to equal UI color. It's basic space UI color. Color with pattern image. Then open square brackets UI image. Image named. And here you're going to put the name of your image. So background.png. Close one bracket, close the second bracket. Notice here how I didn't put background at 2x. I don't need to. Xcode will automatically change that for us if they are using an iPhone retina screen. So don't worry about that, just put the normal image. And there we go, that's how we set the background image. If I build and run here, as you can see I'm on the normal iPhone 4. Our thing will load with our loading screen. Then it will go into our app. And as you can see, I now have a nice background image on my uh, on my table view. However, I don't have it on all of them. I only have it on one. If I click here, you can see it's just plain again. So to change that, we obviously need to go and copy this code and put it in the next table view. So I'm going to come back later when I've copied and pasted all this code into all the table views. So see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've built it on the retina screen just to show you that the Xcode will automatically add it for us. As we click on our cells here, you can see the background of this view has also changed. If I go back and go to cats, and you can see this has changed. Personally, I think this background works better with a grouped table view like this, rather than a non-grouped table view like this. As you can tell, the cells are a bit off-centered. But don't worry, because in my next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to change the background color of the cells individually. So again, you can check that tutorial out here. Um, so yeah, there you go guys, that's how you can set the background image of a UI table view. So I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to check out my next tutorial. Don't forget that this is all made by Jan Martin, his YouTube channel should appear 
here on a link. Um, again, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at FailCakeApps. And don't forget to click on the adverts in some of my videos because that also helps and it only takes a second. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorial.